morning students now today i want to discuss the two important parts of writing skills that is composition and letter writing now these two parts are also given along with your chapter number 1 so before discussing these two in detail i want to discuss their formats of writing so that you can easily attempt them on your own now we all know what is letter writing so let's talk about the types of letters now there are two types of letters that we often write or send first is formal letters and second is informal letters formal letters are those letters that are often written to public offices private offices or government offices these are often about suggestions or problems faced by the people if we talk about the informal letters these are often written to family friends and relatives these are about suggestions for seeking advice and for inviting someone on a occasion and congratulating someone on their success now let's discuss the format of informal letter that is given in your book now at first you will write down the date on which you are writing the letter after that you will write down the complete address of the sender suppose you are sender then you will write down the complete address of yourself now the complete address means you will write down the house number locality which is a street name or the area name where you live in after that you will write down the city to where you belong after address you will write down the salutation which often starts with dear and along with that you will write down the name of the sender to whom you are going to write the letter now after salutation you will write down the body of the letter which means the message that you want to convey and after that you will write down the complimentary close at the end of the letter which often start with yours along with that you can write words such as lovingly affectionately faithfully sincerely to express your regard and at the end you will write down the name of the sender along with your signatures now let's discuss the letter that is given in your book the heading given here is write a letter to the brother wishing him good luck for his examination now tell me what will we write at the beginning of the letter yes very good we will write down the date after that what will we write yes very good we will write down the complete address of the sender now the complete address means we will write down the house number after that we will write down the locality and after that we will write down the name of the city now after writing down the address we will write down the name of the person to whom we are going to write the letter as i am writing letter to the brother so i will write down dear brother now let's discuss the content of the letter now at first you will write down hope you are studying hard for your examination after that you will write down i am sure you are making the best of your time in preparing for your 10th board examination please remember to take good care of your health as well now you suggest to take good care of your health after that you will write down i wish you best of luck for your examination i am sure that your hard work will bring in excellent results parents have great expectations from both of us mummy and papa are sending their love and blessings to you at last we will write down yours affectionately and at the end we will write down the name of the sender that is karishma now let's talk about the second part of writing skill that is composition 
Now, composition is a piece of writing which is based on a specific topic. Now, as letters, there is also a format that you have to follow while writing composition. At first, you will write down introduction. In this paragraph, you will introduce your topic by discussing the main idea of the topic. In the second point, you will write down the body paragraphs, which in detail explain about the topic. It will also highlight all the necessary details about the topic. At last, you will write down conclusion, which is a summary of all the important ideas that is given about the topic. Now the composition given in your book is about Republic Day. Before starting it, I want to ask you some questions about it. So first of all, tell me on which date do we celebrate Republic Day every year? Come on students, you can answer this question. Very good. We celebrate Republic Day on 26th January every year. Now my next question is, why do we celebrate Republic Day? Come on students, you can answer this question. Very good. We celebrate Republic Day because our constitution is Made on this day. Now let's discuss the composition in detail. India became a democratic republic country on 26th January 1950. The constitution of our country was adopted on this day. Since 1950, this day is celebrated as our Republic Day. On this day, there is always a national holiday. All public offices and schools remain closed on this day. As Republic Day is a national festival, so it is celebrated in all parts of our country. In Delhi, especially people from different states gather at India Gate to watch the procession. The meaning of the word procession is parade. As we all know, we gather at India Gate to watch the parade of different persons. The groups of Army, Navy and Air Force do march past and also do salute to our national flag. Now for the children who have shown brave deeds are also carried on an elephant. The folk dances and cultural programs are also organized there. This procession starts from Vijay Chonk and ends at the Red Fort, Delhi. On this day, the president of the country hoists the flag. It means he raised the flag up in the air. At night, the Rashtrapati Bhavan is illuminated or decorated with lights. This day is celebrated with great joy and happiness all over the country. Now that's all about Republic Day, students. So I hope that you will understand the composition and the latter very well. Thank you for watching.